Well, we've made it to Frankfurt for Pro Light and Sound, and the first challenge, as always, is get on the right bus off the airport. Just checked into the Airbnb last time. I ended up staying at a hostel just outside of the train station, but I much prefer this. I really like the area, but now I'm walking over to the Mesa and we're gonna go say hi to everybody that we can right now and check out a little bit of the exhibits on day one. Got my press pass, ready to go. So this is the plaza of the entire Mesa. We're surrounded on all sides by different exhibit halls. But out here they show off LED screen technologies, all of their LED trailer technologies. And the sound systems like you can hear, maybe drowning out my voice right now. But we're gonna go over to the lighting hall right now. All right, we've made it into the lighting exhibition hall and now we just have to go find the MA booth, which is usually the light power booth, because they are the distributor uh, for MA lighting out here. So that's what I'm most excited to see. Everybody wants to see the MA3, so I figured I might as well get that out of the way first. <laughs> so apparently I'm in the wrong hall. I'm supposed to be in three, not four, as I was just kindly told by someone who introduced themselves as one of my fans. So I haven't even been in here 15 seconds. I already met you guys. Mind blowing. Okay, maybe the right hall this time. This looks better. Here we go. Oh my God, there's one. It's even cooler in real life. So they've got all sorts of MA3s out here. A couple of them are running mode two, and they actually have the MA3 software running out here as well, not just mode two. Oh, no. So I'm still here at the MA booth. It's really cool seeing all these stations completely full of people who are really fascinated with the new MA3. I haven't even had a chance to touch one yet, but I did get a scheduled slot time for tomorrow. So that should be really fun. I'll make sure to document that as well. Okay, enough time at MA. Let's go check out what our friends at Roby are doing. Most of the manufacturers will put together these booths and do booth shows, and demos of their new products every hour. It's really kind of funny because uh, I've had so many people come up to me so far kind of fangirling and like asking to take photos, but I had a moment myself today where I was fangirling and that was when Michael Adenau, the guy who founded MA Lighting, actually came up to me and said that he watches my videos. And that was just completely mind-blowing to me that the guy who created the company of my favorite lighting console of all time actually came up to me, said hello, and we had a good 15, 20 minute conversation about what it means to, uh, to, to think like MA and to be involved in the product range like he is. It's amazing. I'm gonna see if he'll actually do a little sit-down conversation. I, I didn't wanna quite do that just yet and ask him if he'd be okay with doing a video, but, uh, yeah, that was crazy. Um, kann es halt mal sein, dass irgendwie auch dieses Monitoring ja zu hoch ist, dass ihr immer das Pult weggucken müsst, dass das nicht in eure Sichtachse passt. Dafür gibt es die beiden CRV-Modelle von der. Johan got an open one for us. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> That's the best buttons I've ever pressed. Wait, exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so this is really impressive. It is. Uh, and you can assign freely whatever function you want to have on so no, That's why we have these buttons in here. I see. Oh, so this is the click for the outer gotcha. I see. Thanks so good. It's so much better. Yes. And then you can draw the size of the window as well. Yeah. Something like that. I want yeah, to have so this size. We have um, multiple steps in presets. Right. 
So it just every picture which is on the same line is just one row. Yeah. We go from backwards, forwards, and we can of course apply uh, phases to that. So just per row, exactly. First step zero, second step 100, and the speed. Not an announced date now, but we try to do it during summertime. But we will try to solve the software uh, to send. If we try to ship desks with a really working software. Yeah. So we don't want to send out desks which are a little bit risky and stuff like that. So we want to have a great user experience with a stable desk. And that's why we send it out when it's ready. Yeah. 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 Like this and flip it up. Oops. You can put this here. Now I just want to uh, like like that, so you get like two. Yeah, see, like I don't that. like now that. Now we have like two stories. It's great. It's yeah, so cool. that's so cool. I just don't like how non-fluid it is. It's, it's like like a great. Yeah, they're, they're actually I mean, is it like connected all the way through? The, like, are yeah. they separately? You need to feel it yourself. Well, the the show is officially over for today. It ends at six every day, but people always stick around and go to booth parties. So I'm gonna go to the uh, Clay Packy booth party because they have like food and drinks and stuff. Because all I've been eating all day is these fruit roll-ups that my girlfriend packed for me for the trip. All right, now we're gonna go get a MA sponsored beer. <laughs> so that is pretty much a wrap on day one. Got some good schnitzel, got uh, to meet up with a bunch of friends and meet people who I didn't think I'd get a chance to meet or who would even recognize me. So that was really fun. Now I'm just gonna kind of go explore the city a little bit. This is like the super sketchy part of Frankfurt where you get solicited by prostitutes and pimps. So I figured I'd go take some photos. You know, all in all, I would say it was a very good first day of Pro Light and Sound. I was a little bit bummed that I couldn't get in until like 3 o'clock, so I felt like I missed it. Missed out a little bit on the like cool factor of being there right early in the morning. But other than that, got to meet a bunch of cool people and uh we got a lot scheduled for tomorrow so i'm excited to see how that works out gonna be up bright and early i'm really thankful that my airbnb is actually pretty decent uh last year staying at the hostel just was not the best so i hope you guys are enjoying this vlog format of these videos i'm gonna be publishing more detailed videos of specific products and uh you know certain exhibits that the manufacturers are putting on display here but uh, I just want to say thank you for following along. Thank you for watching my videos and thanks for saying hi and making me feel like I'm kind of somewhat important. And just so you guys know, I was not paid to be out here. I'm coming out here all on my own accord, on my own dime. But if you do want to pitch in and maybe buy me a beer or a cappuccino or maybe a hundred miles of flying, <laughs> there is a link for my Patreon down in the description below so that I can continue to make videos like this because I'm putting out quite a bit of money just to come down here and I hope you guys are really enjoying the content. I'm enjoying making it for you and I will see you tomorrow morning. We'll go to Pro Light and Sound day number two. See you then.